This is Ross at Woodfire Power and in this video I'm going to show you how to stretch the life of your API Freshwater Master Test Kit about five times as long. So on the different reagent bottles um, the way it's set up is that you add the water from your system up to the line and then you add the number of drops that it says. So for the pH it says add three drops. For nitrite add five drops. For nitrate add ten drops. Well by the time you start adding ten drops that is running through a lot of solution. So you can tell the colors and you don't need to have water all the way up to the line but you do need to maintain the proper ratio so if the pH is um, supposed to go up to the line and requires three drops then the line divided by three is um, the amount of liquid that you need so that's one-third for nitrite you add five drops so um, what I did is I do it to where I add one drop on the pH solution and two drops of each of the others. So rather than adding five drops, I add two. Rather than adding eight drops for ammonia, I add two. Rather than adding ten drops for nitrate, I add two drops. What that means is that I put in two-tenths of the amount of water, which is one-fifth. For ammonia, I put in two-eighths of the amount of water, which is one-quarter of the line height. For nitrite, I put in two-fifths of the height of the line, which is two-fifths. And for pH, instead of three drops, I put in one drop, and that's one-third of the height of the line. So here's one fifth, one quarter, and two fifths. And then this one is one third, but um, there's a little manufacturing defect, so the line's actually up there. So that's one third of the height of the line. Now, if that's complicated, um, I do it by eye and it works out just fine, but the line is set at 5 milliliters, so that means <clears throat> pH needs to be 5 thirds of a milliliter, which is 1 and 2 thirds. Ammonia is 1 and a quarter milliliters, nitrite is 2 milliliters, and nitrate is 1 milliliter. So if you get a small eyedropper, um, in other words, here's a syringe, which is measuring in milliliters, but this one's not accurate enough to do that. If you get a little eyedropper, it'll hold one or maybe two milliliters. And with that, you can use these figures here. One and two-thirds, one and a quarter, two, and one milliliters. And that'll get you the four amounts. And then that way you put one drop of pH and two drops of each of the other three um, reagents. On the pH high range, if you need to use that, it says add five drops, so that would be the same as the nitrite test. That's it, and then instead of using ten drops each time for nitrate, you're using two. Instead of eight drops for ammonia, you're using two. Instead of five drops for nitrite, you're using two. And that stretches the kit a very long time. This kit is about a year old, and I tested it recently against a brand new kit, and the colors are coming out right on target. So the kits really do last quite a long while, and stretching the duration makes sense. Have a great week. This is Ross at Wood Firepower.